Hello, hello. We've got another dungeon on the way here. I don't know why I've suddenly turned uh, Cockney, but that's just what happens. That's just what happens when you're on your own in the room. Um, okay, uh, yeah, this is Scarlet Monastery. This is Cathedral, which is the last wing, I believe, of Scarlet Monastery. Uh, lovely jubbly. And I do love Scarlet Monastery. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it so much. Oh, but I'm out leveling it. Oh. So I'm level 39 at the minute, which is a nice little level to be. Nearly 40, yeah. Yeah. Um, ah, story to tell here. You notice I've done these quests before, and uh, something went very wrong, which I'll explain when we get there. Um, I warn you, I, you know, it, we wiped, and it was awful, and everyone left, and I was very sad. I was a very sad panda. Um, so in here, this courtyard, uh, there's a few people m mucking about. It's quite easy to stay here forever and just kill everything, but honestly, you don't need to do that, honestly because they're all distracted by other things. So I'm like, meh, do what you want, do what you want, I'm just going to hand in this quest. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Nothing too interesting here. Yeah, let's go for the ring. Why not? Why not? Wings are always nice to have. So I'm like, oh, okay, let's skip all this. Let's skip all this mumbo jumbo. And hopefully everyone else will follow, because the DPS, I've noticed in a few runs, they just stay here and just kill everything. I'm like, no. You don't need to do that, don't you worry. So up here is where you find all the action. Um, you've got to be a little bit careful with these uh, mobs here because it's easy to pull quite a lot. So yeah, I pulled these guys, three, three is a good number. Um, it's a good number for cleave, so I'm rending everything, I'm thunder clapping, I'm cleaving when I can, that's pretty much all I'm using. Um, you yeah, know, the odd shield slam now and again. Uh, oh, okay, someone left, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, so yeah, I generally clear all of these, um, just going in between them, just to do a thunderclap, just to just to get on the aggro table there for them. Because if you don't pull them, then someone else is going to pull them, if you're not careful. So just charge everything, just clear this uh, general area. And lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Mmm. I do love warrior tanking. It's so good. Oh, I went on my druid the other day. Um, I'm just so out of touch. I've got no idea on the rotation. Um, so I'll probably do um, the next one I do once I've... Oh, actually, it's kind of an ongoing thing really, isn't it? Um, because once we get these up to level 85, we'll obviously do the later dungeons. Um, but by that time, I'll probably have started a druid character and to just try and relearn for myself just to how to tank basically as a druid so I'm going to do the same thing but with uh, with a druid so that'd be fun, that'd be fun so yeah, just clearing this courtyard no sweat, no sweat and as I don't have anything to talk about at the minute but I will have something to talk about very soon I'm just going to talk about this yoghurt this yogurt that I had on my floor, this is an empty empty box, and it's it's Onken, um, from Dr. Oatka, 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 or something like that. And it's mango, papaya, and passion fruit, and it's rich and creamy. Isn't that great? Finally, we've got something to talk about. Okay, you've got to be really careful in this room here. Um, now, I pulled quite a lot, which isn't ideal, but I'm feeling confident, you know. Um, I'm feeling quite good about it. So I hit a cooldown, taking all these on. And the healer's doing okay, so it's okay. But the thing about this, you've got to ki you've got to clear this cathedral completely of any any mobs at all uh, before you engage on the last boss. And what I did basically on the last one, because I I caused everyone to wipe. It was so bad. I pulled some monsters which were too close to the boss before we cleared the whole uh, monastery, and it pulled everything because that's what happens when you engage the boss any monsters that are left in, in this cathedral come charging out and help the boss and it's awful and it was just too much that we, we just couldn't handle that so just be very careful with what you pull um, as you get closer to the boss which is at the end of the room use ranged, pull, roll, uh, ranged damage attacks and stuff to pull them maybe a taunt or something or heroic throw but for god's sake do not charge into them um, I'll show you when we get to them here just at the front there, you see them? I don't know if you saw them at all. Sneaky, sneaky. So I think I'm gonna. Am I gonna throw something? Yeah. 
I'm just going to throw something and pull them that way because it gets messy. Oh, it gets so messy. So be very careful of that. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you where all the monsters are, where the other bosses. Because um, there's 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 two bosses actually. Well, kind of three, I suppose, if you want to think of it like that. But I'm going to say two because the first one is round the back. Um, he's an undead guy. Oh, spoiler alert. Mm. He didn't used to be undead in the old Scarlet Monastery. No, 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 no. Um, yeah. Well, that's quite interesting, a little lore fact there, because the, the Scarlet Crusade, they hate undead. And one of them is undead now. Ooh. So that's a bit, that's a bit dodgy, isn't it? It's dodgy stuff, that. So I'm taunting these guys, because, oh my god, I do not want that to happen again. Oh, they just come flooding from everywhere. You could try it if you want, but I don't recommend it. So bad, so bad. So once you've dealt with this main room here, there's quite a few, quite a few mobs in here. It feels quite nice to get, you know, kill all these guys. So I usually go right, and this is uh, the direction to the first boss. Um, he's like it through there, and again, he's yeah, he's got nothing to worry about. He's just a little bit of a filler, to be honest. No, no sweat, no sweat. But like with most bosses at this level, they're not going to be too much of a threat. No, 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 no. So you need to kill all these guys anyway. Um, the boss, yeah, the sec the first boss won't actually come if you pull um, the boss before you've killed everything else. The main boss, the last boss, because um, he's he's in a secret secret place. Ooh. So you go here and you click on the torch and it opens a secret door. Ooh. There he is, High Inquisitor Fair Banks. Lovely. What does he hit me with? Like a hammer? Hmm. Fair enough. To each their own, to each their own. Curse of blood, I wonder what that does. I don't know. I don't know, but it's not killing everyone, so I'm not that concerned. Um, yeah, so general stuff. Rends, I've got three stacks of sunder. I'm just keeping it up. You might notice I've got devastate now, uh, as opposed to sunder armor. It does the same thing as sunder armor, basically, but it, it just deals damage, basically. And so it's great, so that basically replaces Sunder Armor. I'll probably go through that on my level 40 update. Um, yeah, just hit level 40, I'm very happy about that. Because now I get to wear plate, so I'll gradually replace all my male gear with plate and I'll be solid. And I'll be solid, yeah. Revenge, ah, oh, that's a fun, that's a fun ability. I'm really enjoying using that. Basically revenge, you get that at level 40, is you, whenever you parry, or I believe it's a parry block or dodge. I can't remember. I think it's it's either all of them or two of them or something like that. Whenever you do that, you get to do a f basically almost free attack on um, on the person who or oh, on whatever you want really. So you hit it. You you say say you parry something, and then that will come up, and then you hit revenge, and it deals a fair amount of damage. But it's on a cooldown. It's on like maybe five or so seconds. But oh, it's great. And it costs like 5 rage, so it's like really cheap threat, which I like. And I've talented it as well, so it hits another person, so it hits two people. That's great. It's great. I almost love it as much as Cleave, but I don't. I don't, because Cleave is amazing. Oh, oh, let me just, there we go, there we go, there we go. So I'm just clearing out these, and uh, that's all of them cleared out, so I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling prepared for this boss. I'm going to go straight into it, because I noticed the healer's mana is fine. And the thing about this boss here is you, you engage him and you're like, okay, he's not so bad, he's going down quite quickly. Um, but you've got to be aware that when he dies, his uh, mistress or some, some friend, perhaps a lady friend, I don't know. Um, Mograin, Mograin, why does that name ring a bell? And this woman comes in and she's like, oh my god, oh my god, what are you doing? And then you try and get her down and like, oh, da da da. Then she stuns everyone, puts everyone to sleep as you do, um, and then she's like, oh, resurrect, my love, oh, isn't that lovely, and then she heals everyone, and then you fight them both at the same time, so that's a nice little boss there, and um, she does some holy smites there, and he's a standard kind of, I think, I think they should do more bosses like this, have multiple bosses, like, multiple tough guys at the same time, because there's so many single bosses out there, it just gets a bit dull. A bit boring. So yeah, the only thing you need to be aware of is that he does a bubble, um, like a paladin bubble, that makes him immune to everything. Everything. 
at all. And that's it really, once he's done that you can just burn him down and it's fine. Indeed. It's a nice shield there, nice upgrade, probably anyway. Um, but I've already got it from the last run anyway. And that's it basically. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, that's the last Scarlet Monastery I'll probably be doing. Uh, it's a shame really, I will miss it. So yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye.